Hi kids! I hope you're ready for another day of math and phonics review. Before we get started, I wanted to tell you a joke. What do you call a funny mountain? Hilarious! All right, let's get started on letter review. G, y, e, w, a, v, p, a, t, z, k, r, o, x, e, b, d, j, m, n, s, a. Wonderful job. All right. Okay, our next stop is nonsense words. So if you think that you can read these to yourself without my help, go ahead and turn the sound off and I will give you a wave when it's time to come back. All right, here we go. Sib, bok, tal, sen, gib, dod, Hop, lek, biz, zat, gem, gom, hof, dax, cuz, yun, had, whiff, moff, gat, seth. Okay, amazing work. Now we're going to move on to our sight words. So follow along and here we go. Once, thank, give, some, any, him, going, again, as, by, open, live, take, walk, round, of, just, them, think, her, am, fly. Great work. So we've been talking about different ways to make words that use different R sounds. So one of those is of course R using A and R. Another one is er that we can do that a couple ways. So one way we can do that is with ER that makes er. Another way is IR. And the last way of course is UR. The other sound we've been talking about is or, which we make with O-R. So today we're not gonna practice writing any words, but we are going to practice some sentences. This first sentence practices R with A-R. So if you need to pause this and go grab a pencil and paper or a marker and a whiteboard, why don't you do that and come right back. All right. The first sentence is, the park is far in the dark. The park is far in the dark. The park is far in the dark. So we see the park is far in the dark. Great work. Okay, this next sentence uses or, or, with O and R. Forks are for pork and corn. Forks are for pork and corn. Forks are for pork and corn. Okay, let's take a look. So we have forks, F-O-R-K and an S making that S sound. R for pork 
and corn. All right, great job. This last sentence makes er, and we're going to have all three ways to make er in this sentence. So try your best to write them in the right words. Her shirt is turning. Her shirt is turning. All right. Let's take a look. Her is with ER, so H E R. Shirt, we've got S and H together making that sh, sh sound. Er with I and R finishing with a t is turn. Er with U R, N, and then ing making I N G. Great job. If you got all those right, pat yourself on the back. If you got some of them right, pat yourself on the back anyway. And if maybe they were all a little confusing for you, you still deserve a pat. All right. These are the problems we'll be working on today. All right. Welcome back to math. We've been talking this week about adding and subtracting, so knowing when to use a plus and a minus, and then adding things that might use both tens and ones. Today is gonna to be a lot like yesterday, but this time we're gonna use bigger numbers. So let's get started. Reba had 10 cups. Then she got 23 more. How many does she have now? So we see she's getting more cups, so we're going to use a plus because it's addition. And let's take a look. In 10, we have one 10 and zero ones. Then she's going to get 23 more. In 23, we have two tens and three ones. First, let's add the ones together. Three plus zero is three. Then let's add the tens. One ten plus two tens makes three tens. So our final number is three tens and three ones, which makes 33. Way to go. Let's start another one. Jose had 39 shells. He gave 14 away. How many does he have now? So if he's giving 14 away, he's going to end up with less, meaning we need to subtract and use a minus. So 39 minus 14 is our problem. Let's start with the ones. Nine ones minus four ones leaves how many ones? Five. Nine minus four is five. Then let's look at the tens. Three take away one. So three tens take away one tens. Three minus one leaves two. So 39 minus 14 leaves two tens and five ones, which is 25. Awesome. In our next problem, Jackie has 14 tacos. Then she makes 15 more. How many does she have now? So we hear that more word, which means that we're going to add and use a plus. Let's start by adding the ones. Four plus five makes nine. Then we need to add the tens. We have one ten in 14 and one ten in 15. So one ten plus one ten is two tens. Two tens and nine ones means Jackie ends up with 29 tacos. Great work. In our next problem, Dale has 35 cats. He gives 12 away. How many does he have now? So since he's giving some of his cats away, he'll end up with less, meaning we'll subtract and use a minus. Starting with 35, we see there are three tens and five ones and we're taking away one 10 and two ones in 12. So let's start with the ones. Five take away two leaves three. So we're gonna have three ones in our answer. 
Then we'll have three take away one in our answer. Three take away one leaves us with two tens. So two tens and three ones means that Dale is left with 23 cats. That's still a lot of cats. In our next problem, Kyo has 59 coins. He spent 19. How many does he have now? So remember, when you spend money, you end up with less. So we're going to take 19 away from 59. Let's start with the ones. So there are nine ones in 59 and nine ones in 19. So nine, take away nine, we're left with zero. Then let's move on to the tens. We have five tens in 59 and one in 19. So five tens minus one ten equals four tens. So we're left with four tens and zero ones. And that gives us 40. Kyo has 40 coins left. Here's our last problem of the day. In our next problem, we see Nalini had 15 chickens. Then 32 more hatched. How many does she have now? So more chickens are hatching, which means she'll have more chickens, which means we're going to add, which means we need a plus sign. Let's look at our numbers. 15 has one ten and five ones, and 32 has three tens and two ones. So let's start by adding the ones together. Five plus two makes seven, so we're going to end up with seven ones, and one plus three makes four. So four tens and seven ones leaves us with 47 chickens. Way to go, kids. Have a wonderful day.